All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna do some equations with grouping, which meant, uh, I thought, you know, all right, what are some famous groups throughout history, music groups? All right, so we have some of the big ones here. We have the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, my all-time favorite group, which is U2, a little Irish band, all right? Um, these are some major groups of, of, of the past, of all time. We'll talk about some of the big groups of today, which, you know, some I don't understand, but that's okay. All right. So we're going to talk about equations with grouping, and it may seem a little strange, all right, but we're going to do some fractions. So we're going to talk about this as a, as a group here of 2 over 5. So now um, we have our order of operations, GEMDAS. Now I know that this says 2 fifths. 2 fifths is just a number. 2 fifths times x. So I, it, it appears to me that I'm just doing one thing. I'm multiplying. But I really want you to think of this as two separate things. I want you to think of it as 2 times x and divide by 5, okay? So I really want you to think I have division and I have multiplication. So that's going to change how we solve this. I'm going to draw my line down here. And I come over here and I say the opposite of dividing by 5 is multiplying by 5. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. And when I do that, these fives cancel out, and I have my first step is 2x equals 30. So I'm done with division. Then I go into my next one, and I say the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. All right? And we get down here, and we have x is 15. All right? So instead of saying I'm just multiplying by 2 fifths, I want you to think about that as multiplying by a number on top and dividing by a number on the bottom. All right. Here we have BTS. Oh, they're, they're so popular right now. Now, I don't know how this video will hold up in the future. But right now, they are so supremely popular. And I can tell you, I can name none of their songs. I don't know if I've ever heard of them. But I hear kids talking about them. They are very popular. All right. Let's try this one right here. All right, so we have adding 10, that's a plus 10, all right? Um, and I have a negative 6 and a 5. Remember, I put that negative on the bottom number. You could put it on either number you want, and that's fine. So I'm going to divide by negative 6, and I'm multiplying by 5. So let's solve this equation here. So the first thing we have to undo is add 10. Remember, this is a positive 10. This negative goes with 5, 6. So this is a minus 10 from both sides. So the very first thing we get, this crosses out, and we have negative 5 over 6x equals 0 minus 10 is negative 10. That'll be our first step. Our next step the opposite of dividing by negative 6 is multiplying by negative 6. And again, remember, we have to keep that negative here. doesn't matter if it's top or bottom, but you have to pick. I like the bottom. So the negative and the negative uh, cross out. All right. 6 crosses out. So now I have 5x equals 60. Last but not least, the opposite of multiplying by 5 is dividing by 5. There we have it, x equals 12. Now, I didn't check these, but you certainly could check these if you wanted. It should be very easy to you at this point, all right? Um, I just felt like you didn't need me showing you how to check them. So I want you to pause the video here. This is One Direction, I believe, another just wildly popular band all right um pause the video and try this one all on your own so as you can see here we had subtract six we had m multiply by four we had divide by three i added six to both sides i multiplied by three to cancel out the three and i got four x and i divided both sides by four 24 divided by four is six okay <clears throat> let's try this one all right, so, GEMDAS. All right, oh, these are out. there's Mr. Brust, me, 
This is Mr. Bean, and this is Mr. Kelly. We all work together on math stuff, all right? But, um, all right, so this one looks a little bit tricky. And the reason it looks tricky is it looks like it's minus 4 and divide by 3. But remember, that division bar groups. This division bar here is saying, I want this side grouped together and this side grouped together. So it's actually grouping. And whenever you have grouping, you'll worry about what's inside later. So I don't really have a minus right now, okay? I'll worry about that later. So I have grouping and I have divide by 3. So we have to go backwards. So the very first thing we need to undo is, multi is divide by 3. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. All right, so here we go. So 3 times 2 is going to give me my first step of 6. All right, and then these threes are going to cancel out, so then I have x minus 4 left. The opposite of minus 4 is add 4 to both sides. So now we have x equals 10. Okay, and again, the tricky thing here was this is actually grouping, all right? That's actually grouping. Let's try another one. Move these ugly mugs over here. All right. So now, this is pretty obvious. We have grouping here. What is, what is that negative five doing? Well, that negative 5 is actually multiplying. Now, you'll learn how to solve this equation another way coming up. But right now, I want to talk about solving it backwards right now. See, you guys know how to do the distributive property, which is awesome. But let's solve it how we, un we know by unwrapping this, okay? Remember, unwrapping means we're going backwards. So the opposite of multiplying by negative 5 right off the bat is divide both sides by negative 5. And what do we get? We get x plus 3 because this whole thing here cancels equals 25 divided by negative 5 is negative 5. Then the opposite, see now the grouping's gone, so now I worry about that addition. The opposite of plus 3 is minus 3. So x equals negative 8. And again, you can uh, definitely check that yourself by plugging in. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. Negative 5 times a negative 5 is a positive 25. All right, last one. Try it on your own. Please pause the video and try this one. Okay, let's see what we got. So I was dividing by, I had grouping of x minus 6, and I had divide by negative 2. So I started by multiplying by negative 2. That gave me x minus 6 is negative 16. I added 6 to both sides. Negative 16 plus 6 is negative 10. There you go. I hope you do great on this. Go out there and be a positive change in your community and do good things. Good luck on the master trick. We'll see you next time.